All right, guys, so I'm here at Airbnb Pets. Uh, he says we have a roach motel under this towel. Uh, so I got to be careful when I yank this. He said when he took the to toilet up, there was a lot of bugs. So I told him to buy the uh, pest control um, concentrate bug spray. And all you have to do is mix that stuff up and then pour it down once a month down each drain in the house. And the residue on the side of the pipe is enough to wipe them guys out. Uh, they come in from the vents on the roof and they just love that moist, dark, uh, nasty space. That's what they do. So I'm going to put this toilet in. Where is the toilet? Pat, where's the to toilet, man? Where is it? <clears throat> oh, you got a brand new toilet. I thought I was just re I thought I was resetting the one. You told me before. Don't yeah, be this cheap. is a good toilet. Get a good toilet. Don't be cheap. I'll bring it in, man. No, you got a brand new one. Nice. That worked. I just want to see what happens with this washer. So it's filling now. So. It takes 20 minutes to fill, right? Not normally. So, what about just doing smaller loads? Yeah. Should I do that? That gives smaller... Uh, you may find a difference. Unfortunately, it's just the rate at which this thing pumps water out. Oh, okay. So, so whether it's a bucket or 10 buckets, oh. I think it may still pump out the same because rate. Because I believe this thing weighs the load and knows how much water to put in, but that you're talking it, about. Well, it's got an air sensor. You know, as, it, as the water gets higher, it puts more pressure on that uh, air hose, and it lets it know what height it is. Unfortunately for me, that hose has popped off a few times yeah. in my condos, that I, when I own condos. Oh, uh, really? And the damn thing never shut off and flooded the whole house. Well. What I would suggest, I hey, listen. Yeah. You can call up a sheet metal place, right? And just as a safety because we're on the outside, you can put these things in a in a safety pan. In a pan and have it run out the door. Have it run right out the side. Of the house. Are you talking the whole machine or just the under? Whole machine or. Uh, yeah, it'd be tough to get if that overflowed. It'd be tough to get that into a pan. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's so awkward in place. I mean, it's yeah, totally uh, in the corner. Let's see what's happening here. So, I don't... so is this a good time to potentially? I thought, I thought this storm would stop my new floors going in. We've got another one coming, it seems. Right. I'm done with this shit, brother. I bet you you've been working your ass off, huh? Right. As soon as you leave, I'm back at it. Doing another two yeah. properties. I've been breaking it. Bagging it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Except for a tree falling through my own eye. Oh, yeah? Oh, right. Man, you had this. This is a brand new lanai. It's one of them. Let me see, see that. It's one of those beautiful, no obstruction lanai. Look at that. Like a picture window, guys. Unfortunately, we're in Florida. And half of it's torn apart. That's life in the big city here. What a beautiful, beautiful. It's very difficult to get in here. Wow. What do they call that? Is there a special name for that? He's busy. He's he's working his ass off. He's got like four Airbnbs and he's got a great touch the way they design things. 
you and your wife really have a good. Uh, well, the floors helped. The floors helped. Well, you have a great uh, sense of style. I think your oh. Airbnbs are nice. Well, well, well my are nice my, my uh my guests are like this is kind of old. Yeah, all right, let me get started, man. Okay, I'll leave it to you. I'll my I'm doing hurricane pricing now, so be careful. Let's see what we got here, guys. Could be the Roche Motel, eh? Jackson, let's see what we got. I'm gonna stuff this fucking rag right back in the hole. Get out of here! Oh yeah, there are fucking dead roaches everywhere here, man. There's a hole and nothing came flying out. Roachy Motel. That back in, that's a good sign. I'm gonna get my vacuum, get this new toilet thrown in for him, and be down the road, Jackson. All right, guys, so I'm here to put this toilet in. It's definitely a so the way this is set up, I'm gonna put a wax under here and then my wax on top of that with a and get it, get it taken care of. Hey, Pat, you want to bring me the wax that's out there and yeah. that came with this toilet? Okay. It's in a blue box. So I've got Verizon at my house fixing my cable, which is great. Fortunately, they said they'd be here between 1 and 5 and the guy showed up at 9. <laughs> supposed to be. Run my finger around that. Make sure it's centered. Set the bowl, Jackson. Did a number on my knee, man. Terrible. All right, guys. So what I do is I hold. See this? You can put the, the bolt holes right like this, and then move the toilet over. Easy way to find the bolts.
Houston, we have a problem. Uh, these guys bought a 10-inch rough toilet. They needed a 12-inch. This toilet's way too far off the wall. Uh, you can see, usually this toilet, this brand, and this model is pretty damn close to the wall. From the wall to the center of the thing. And if you told the guy at Lowe's, he would have said that. So the 12 inch. inch will even be further. No, 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 it's going to be tighter. Tighter to the wall, Mo. Well, that's ridiculous. Okay, come on. Time is. So now we got to return this. Yes, but not today. We'll yeah, sure to... I'll get this cleaned up and put back in the box. So but do you I'm want to come pull... back tomorrow? No, I want to do it, man. I'm here. Well, Mo, I've is there got anything else shit to even do? close to doing anything. Is there anything else he can do? No. Oh, boy. All right, is there anything else Hey, I, I just to... go like you're dressed. <laughs> I mean, I do it. Is I go in there and I Is there anything else I need to know? No. So, it's, just say, so in the box, it's a 12-inch. Yes, the... let me show you on this box oh. where it says 10-inch rough. Well, you want one that I says 12-inch. I was told I was given the wrong information. No, I want to give All right, that's all water under the bridge. Well, the guy Let's the... do what needs to be done. See, this says 10-inch right. rough for 12. special installations. You need the one that says 12. That's standard. So That's it's, it. It's this right here. Yes. Oh, God. See how this is saying it's 10 inches? Yeah. You ha you said you measured it and it was yeah. 12. No, no. I measured it. The guy said from the wall to the center of the circle and it's and it was 10. But it's it's not right. So Whatever. that's what the guy told me. You just got to go. You can't talk. Well, I'm trying to think what else we can do. Don't worry about it. I'm not charging you guys. No, I'm just wondering though. Do you do you know here, how to cook? The hey Airbnb sure. Pat. You want a coffee? I will have a coffee. I'm gonna sit here in your. What about this? This needs replacing. Or maybe he can fix this. What's Maureen, it? Would you? Are, do you want me to go to Lowe's? Does he know how to do fridges? You want me to go to Lowe's? No, I'll go. It's my fault. I it always her, is, man. Listen, you did? No, I said measure it for the guy. I didn't say tenor. I said just measure the hole from the back of the wall to the hole. Yeah. She came over the tenor. I should have caught that, but I didn't. You, we put a couple of these in. Uh, oh my God! Just... Listen to that water. I think your washing machine has a shut off on it. I don't see Where it. when the water backs up, like a like when you're done filling up your car, it the pump turns off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't know where that is, John. Sound. Yes, it is. I don't know where that is, John. You don't know where what is. Turn off. No, it's a sensor inside where if the water touches that if hole. Whatever overflows, I just unplug it. Yep. Quick. That's the quickest way. What do you need in it? Nothing. Black. That's why I'm so happy. Black coffee. That's why I'm... Take it easy, brother. We got wow. nothing but time. Imagine so all the, the people. Down the street. Yeah. My fridge line. What's that? I got a guy coming to fix my fridge line down the, the street. The ice maker line? Yeah. Didn't I fix that? No. This is a different one. Well, why the hell didn't you call me? Well, actually, do you want to do that and want to take a peek at it now? Yeah. Here's what I've done. The water from the source goes to the fridge, no problem. You yeah. can see it's spraying all over. I put it in there. But it's not making it from the bottom to the top. It's not going through the water. Oh, that's an appliance problem. Correct. So I bought, a, I bought the mechanism that goes in the bottom of the fridge, and he's going to come and install the stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, you I need don't... the solenoid valve needs to be replaced, probably. It's, it's called the water relay. Okay, water yeah. Relay. Sorry about this, John. Hey, man. No problem. Man, Jesus Christ, this coffee could put hair on my back, well, man. Well, we like it strong. Yeah, it's good, though. What kind of coffee is that? Uh, Verona. Is it too strong? It's total madness, man.
I'm going to start taking a Valium before I come to Airbnb Pat's house. Because this, this guy's a, he's stressed, man. He needs, Pat, yeah. I'm going to start taking a Valium before I come to your house. I can't believe she's blaming me. Hey, man, I mean, that's nothing to do with it. You told me. I said, I didn't tell you. I just said pleasure. And tell the guy who works in the... He's over here humping it because he's got guests coming. He's got this house next door is, is an Airbnb, too. Uh, and this one across the street, that's his, too. This guy's got a little gold mine going here in Sarasota. He's a realtor. Great guy. And he just works, man. He's a hustler. And if you need to get your balls cleaned... Hey, Pat, you mind if I clean my balls? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too funny, man. I really do this every this YouTube like shit just this. for me. Go ahead, clean some of your balls if you like. <laughs> they really should put a stool in front of them things. In, it's kind of uh, tough during, getting during calls COVID, up there. They took them all out of every golf course, right? During really? COVID. And I need a ball washer because I play a lot of golf. So Freaking ball my own. Good for you, brother. All right, guys. So here's Johnny Sunshine. Sitting at Air, Airbnb uh, B Pat's house, sitting out under his carport, having a nice cup of black coffee. I uh, just washed my balls, and uh, in the ball washer over there. See the ball washer? Yeah. Anyways, I'm in the middle of a heated he said, she said. Uh, argument between these two she's on her way to get another toilet she bought this one from from uh, Home Depot a 10 inch rough she needs a 12 inch rush rough but this is a Highline arc and they don't sell them at home at uh, Lowe's but she's going to Lowe's to pick up another toilet uh, so she's not going to get this one but it'll be similar uh, And I don't want to pull that toilet because of the buggies, man. I mean, I guess I could just put the rag back in there, which I probably will. I'm just going to have this coffee. I'm not. It's total madness down here, man. Scheduling. People are all over the place. They're doing the best they can. They're scrambling. And unfortunately, now I guess we're getting another storm. Another storm. We have the possibility of another fucking hurricane or tropical storm heading this way. Only time will tell, but the Caribbean is still real, real hot, man. Uh, and it's going to produce some November fucking storms. November is the last month of the uh, hurricane season. And uh, I just hope we don't get whacked again anywhere in the United States. We can't take it anymore, man. But if this ain't a wake-up call, I don't know what the fuck is for you assholes on the fucking who don't believe in global warming. Wake the fuck up. That's all I have to say. I don't know what more you need to see. If you live in fucking, uh, you know, in North Carolina and you watched your house float away down the fucking street... You may want to reconsider who you're taking uh, your meteorological advice from. That's all I'm saying. If he's a guy in a $3,000 suit telling you, there's no fucking problem. Don't worry about it. My friends in the fucking, uh, you know, the oil industry, they got your best interests at heart. Wake the fuck up. We have the perfect opportunity right now before election day, early vote, vote on election day, kick these bastards out, the deniers. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Boy, I just made a fucking mess. Pat's got fucking Airbnb. Pat! 
I think you suffer from Airbnb PTSD. No, she's just been driving me crazy for this whole story. Yeah. Everything every... I've got to do, and I've got to do it now. And yeah. she, just, she just directs me, and it's like, I, I'll get to it, Maureen. I'll get to it. Now everybody's at the end of their fucking yeah. rope, yeah. basically. Pat's the man. Good dude, man. He was a concert promoter, man. But great bands. The Rolling Stones were at his fucking house, man, in Canada. This guy's got some stories, man. Just a cool, cool guy. Probably made a ton of fucking money. That's why he's here in Sarasota. He was from Canada. And he's got, I think, at least five, four or five houses that are Airbnbs. And, uh... He works, though, man. This boy, this guy, it takes a lot of effort, man. He's always got something to do. And it's like playing... Remember the old show in, in the 70s, Beat the Clock? You had to get shit done before the fucking clock went... Wah! That's what being an Airbnb uh, host is like. You're always behind, man. My eyes are really killing me today for some reason, man. And I go see my doctor. She's like, well, how many times a day do you use it? I was like, it just, it varies, man. I just don't know. I don't have the fucking answers anymore. It just hurts. Some days are worse than others. Some days aren't too bad. But I can't. I'm just fucked up. I can't even answer your questions. I must have put these in 20 times already today, man. Unfortunately, look at my eyes. Where the fuck are they? That's fucking terrible. Oh, yellow eyes. It look like I got bad fucking. I got liver disease or kidney or something. <sighs> Take a deep breath and don't stress, man. It ain't my fucking fault, Jackson. Alright guys, so I gotta pull this fucking toilet that I just put in, son of a bitch. Oh. Wow, that's pretty clean under there. That's good. Uh, I'll try to clean it up a little better. I'm gonna put it back in the box. wax seal I'm gonna use this wax over again guys let me show you what's up Jackson Shit, getting ugly here. Being being big pats today, boys. So I want to. I was just reading some of the. Some of the. Uh, comments. On my post this morning about Republicans and. Uh, and I kind of paint with a broad brush. And I, I don't like them, you know. And a guy that is a great subscriber. I love the guy. I've sent him shit in the mail. Uh, 
but he said he's been biting his tongue for a while about the shit I talk about and calling, you know, the fact that I do paint with a broad brush. And, uh, hang on. <laughs> So my response to that is, I should not be saying Republicans. I should say people who voted for Donald Trump and continue to vote for him. Uh, we have never in the history of this country had a, such a flawed, flawed individual run for president. I don't care what your motives are or why you believe that he's our man. He is a fucking disaster. And anybody who voted for him and continues to vote for him, I have a fucking problem with you, man. As simple as that. I got a problem there. Shit that matters to me. Just is a non-issue for a lot of people, it appears. Uh, when you vote for somebody, <laughs> voting for all of them. And uh, that's just how I feel, guys. I know. Politics is tough. It's a tough fucking business, but... Alright, let me go out and... Put this toilet back in the box. Not to be confused with Jack in the box. I'm gonna put this on here to keep the buggies down. Alright guys, I finally finished that goddamn job with them. I really enjoy working with these two. They're funny as hell. They get my jokes. <coughs> I was there for two and a half hours. You know, I put a toilet in, took it back out, put it back in the box, sat there, waited. Uh, cracked a lot of jokes. Did some marriage counseling. Uh, you know, I'll pray for Pat tonight. He's in big trouble there. And, uh, his wife is banned from going to Home Depot or fucking Lowe's because she never comes back with the right shit, man. Just pay me for the toilet. What the fuck? They saved $50 by doing this shit themselves. Tell you where I'm going. Oh, I know where the fuck I'm going. I'm going over to my guy here. It's right around the corner, and I'm gonna get me a fucking uh, a Yiddo special. Yes, Jackson. Uh, hopefully my my uh, internet is back on. Very nice young uh, kid showed up. 22 years old. He showed up early, but, you know, he came when they dispatched him. Uh, I showed him where the boxes were, and unfortunately, they're going to fucking run 400 feet of, of cable instead of just splicing. Look at this little rat. Pink. Dude. That dude's going to get... I think they call it fag bashed. You know, if you're a dude and you're walking around with a little pink poodle, you may want to bring a fucking stick with you, is all I'm saying. Because you, these Trumpers, you know, these real men running around here, you might get fig-bashed. 
いいね Just saying. <sighs> Look at this roof. That looks like they went up there and ripped off a bunch of shit to try to get a new roof. You know, a lot of people do that down here. First thing they do after the storm is go up and rip a bunch of fucking shingles off the whole roof and say, hey, I got roof damage. Even if the roof's only five, six years old, get a fucking new one. Who cares? I gotta bang a left here and uh, catch a light up here to get out on this high uh, on this Tamiami Trail. Scooby Dooby Dee 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 Dee. How about a hug? Hello. Johnny needs a hug.